there's nothing magic about it. All we're doing is just spending time with people. That's all it is. And then looking for those opportunities to bring Jesus into the conversation. It's really neat to see people enjoying being out on the ocean. The other day we went out with a couple of friends and the women were just shouting, you know, and they were just praising God because it was beautiful. It was a sunset and, and we had pelicans diving all around us. Ideally, we'll get to the point like Jesus, who he never invited anybody to anything except to follow him. And he was such an interesting person that people sought him out and invited him to their programs, to their dinners, their wedding feasts, and then he turned those events into a spiritual event. And so we'd like to emulate Jesus in that sense, and that we'd like to be such interesting people that people seek us out, invite us into their lives, and together we walk towards Jesus. We are Steve and Lois Dressel House, and we are Teen Missionaries in La Paz, Mexico. We're with a group of kayakers, and this is one of the ministries of Reconciliamar. Reconciliar is a play in the words reconciliation, love, and ocean. Our aim is to use adventures at sea to transform lives. By coming to sea like this, it gives us the opportunity to spend hour after hour talking to people. We do marriage counseling, we do addictions counseling, we talk about the church, we talk about the gospel of Jesus. Because we spend a lot of time at sea scuba diving or kayaking, we attract a group of friends that normally wouldn't be involved in church type activities. Cuando me encontré con Reconcilia Mar, fue por medio de los kayaks también. Eso fue lo que nos unió. Nos gusta mucho la naturaleza. Eh, por medio de la naturaleza poder encontrar la razón de ser que es Cristo. Queremos la, la familia que es Reconcilia Mar. Reconcilia Mar ha sido una gran oportunidad para mí de poder relacionarme con otras personas, de poder Eh, convivir con gente que busca tener una relación más directa con el Creador a través de la naturaleza. So like right now, the people that you see in the distance there, we've been kayaking with them for a couple years now, and they're people we met doing exactly what we're doing right now. We started talking about the gospel, they became interested, and now they're part of the Bible study group. Steve each week prepares questions. We'd usually get through about, you know, two or three because we'd be going off on a lot of tangents. People would have questions. Los pasajes de la Biblia los leemos, los analizamos, los discutimos en grupo. Es una reunión de amigos que estamos tratando de acercarnos más a Dios a través del conocimiento de la Biblia. It's a simple church. A church that's as close as it can be to the church that we believe Jesus and the apostles envisioned. But we'd like to see hundreds, thousands of, of house churches meeting like we do, reading the Bible, asking questions, praying, taking care of one another, and serving the city. Para nosotros es muy importante las actividades de cuidado del medio ambiente porque pues de hecho ese es uno de los objetivos principales de, de nuestro grupo. Cuidar el medio ambiente, protegerlo, trabajar para proteger la obra del Creador. Pero sobre todo es un medio de crecer espiritualmente. En primer lugar estamos tratando de darle a conocer a la gente Que Dios nos entregó todas estas bellezas para cuidar. We believe that taking care of the environment is part of the Christian duty. So our job is to not just care for the traditional spiritual things that we always associate with church, 
But we believe that part of our work is to take care of the environment as God's creation. We believe that it's a biblical mandate, it's a privilege, and also it's one of the best ways we can show that we love people by taking care of their home. Jesús casi nunca estuvo solo, casi siempre estuvo rodeado de gente y con la gente estuvo conversando y haciendo cosas eh, buenas. Entonces, si queremos seguir sus enseñanzas, pues yo creo que esa es una parte fundamental, estar unidos, estar en un grupo, formar una pequeña sociedad, eh, un, un grupo que estemos juntos y que nos apoyemos unos a otros. Working to create unity, we're working to create fellowship, community, togetherness, all of which are results of having accepted Christ as Savior.